signs, you are ready to be locked. Really embrace the journey and look beautiful with your locks. You're not going to be able to add weaves to your hair. You're not going to be able to add any kind of extensions. You're probably not going to be, you're not going to be able to straighten it. And you have to be ready for that. It seems like a limitation, but there's many styles you can do with your locks. But if you haven't let go of that idea that, hey, I want to wear a wrap or, hey, I want to wear a wig, you know, those can work when you first start. Not the, not the wrap, but the wigs, of course. But um, in the long run, you're gonna have to accept that all of those options with your hair is over with and you're gonna have to really embrace the journey and look beautiful with your locks, you know. Sign number two <laughs> is you're gonna have to be natural. <laughs> locks is about being natural. Yes, you might add some, you know, beeswax or whatever to your locks, even though you guys know I prefer coconut oils mixed with essential oils and baba soup oil and barrage oil and grapeseed oil and olive oil and coconut oils. Did I say that? Yes. <laughs> and I prefer natural. <laughs> so anyways, but whatever you're using in your hair, you're definitely not gonna use like the amount of chemicals that you would usually use the third sign that you are ready. Why? Because sometimes people feel like they're going through what they call the ugly stage which is really just your locks haven't budded yet like they may start out looking kind of thin because they have to bud or shape you just assume because someone's put them on your head that they have become to their final stage of beauty and they haven't they're like flowers they're budding and they come to in a few years a year or two it seems like forever but it goes by super quick and when that time comes they are beautiful. And as the years go on, in my opinion, they become more beautiful. If you see some of my videos, my locks have come a long way. I never thought that they would still be changing and budding after all this time, all these years. And so it's really exciting to see them and just be like, one day, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. And then later on, just looking at them and just like, wow, okay, I like them. You know, it's your opinion on them is definitely gonna change, but I would say enjoy the journey because every place and time that your locks are growing, you can do different styles at different lengths. And so really enjoy it. Stages, each stage has its own beauty. Enjoy it, okay? So embrace who you are. Each of our locks are gonna look different. And that, that, that third sign is a big deal because you're really embracing who you are. Your hair is who you are. We're, all of our hair is not gonna look exactly the same. All of our locks are gonna have their own look, their own personality, and they're just not gonna look exactly the same. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're gonna look a little different, okay? And everybody's gonna look beautiful in their own way, so you have to embrace it. <laughs> embrace them, okay? Like, love them, love yourself. It's all about self-love because these locks are you. These locks are you, okay? You may look similar to the next person, but overall, they are you. They're you. Fourth, sign you are ready to be locked. That would be, you guys, the lock journey. It is a journey, grab your backpack. <laughs> grab your backpack and put on your hiking boots. Because this is a journey, okay? L literally, like seriously, because you have to get to the budding process. So they change and they're going through stages. And you may get to a stage in your life where you're not totally happy with, but you have to go for the journey. You understand? As you continue to go on wearing them, they will change in length. How about if you didn't like when they were here, but then they're here and then they're here and then they're here and then they're here. It is a journey. 
You have to be ready for the journey. There is no point of you getting locked if you can't even get through the journey. Come on, at least to here before you say, okay, I did this. Oh boy, oh boy, it's a journey. And for some of us, more so than others, especially if your locks are started in a way where you, their shape is not what you asked for, or if you get lock extensions and they don't tell you certain things that you need to know when you get those. If you guys want me to talk about those, let me know because as you know, I used to add mine a lot because around the edges when I was having issues, I would add locks there. You know, I would replace them. A lock station once um, did my hair and snatched out all my edges, like snatched them out, like all the way back to here. All the way back to here, like nothing. I, nothing was here, just skin. Okay, so basically I just, one year I just got tired. I chopped it all off and I was like, I'm gonna start over, you know. For a long time I just held on to that hair and I just kept attaching locks, you know. But yeah, I digress, but anyways. Confidence, you guys. Growing your own hair out of your head and accepting it for what it is helps build your confidence. You don't have to wonder, hey, what do I need to do next with my hair? It's you, you're beautiful every day. Every day you wake up, you're beautiful and you have to just accept that. Even if you don't think you're beautiful, you are beautiful, okay? It's you, it's your hair. All right, so that confidence is a big deal because some of us have never really grown hair. So as you see your hair grow, you know, that is gonna really give you some a confidence boost knowing that, hey, I'm not a bald head skeleton lad, no. <laughs> I ain't no bald head skeleton lad. But no, seriously, just knowing that, hey, you can grow healthy hair, long healthy hair, full hair, hey, for it may take longer for some of us, but it definitely don't take as long as it has been. You get me? The fact that you're gonna be growing your own hair, embracing the hair that the Most High gave you. So the five signs, you guys, is the design. You can't do much different. You can't make this lock. I can't take this lock and smush it down. I can put some curls on it. But you have to be ready to accept that you're going to create the beauty within your own hair that you're growing out of your own head. So that whatever design, that they, whatever they look like at that time, that point in time, is what you're gonna need to be ready to accept, okay? So that's a big deal, be ready to accept that. If you're like, oh, I'm the kind of person, I don't like braids, you know, these might remind me of braids, then don't waste your time. What they're gonna look like, you're definitely not gonna be like ready for the actual lock journey, okay? So you're not gonna sign up for the lock journey at all. What was number two? Be natural, you have to be ready to be natural. And then two and three, which was to embrace yourself. You're gonna embrace what they're gonna look like. You're gonna be ready to be natural. Embrace your natural beauty that's growing right out of your head. You gotta be ready for the journey, okay? Grab your boots in your boots. And you're gonna have to be ready. Be ready to build that confidence, okay? And you're gonna have to have confidence when somebody trying to tell you that your own hair that you was provided by the most high is not feasible or not good enough. You're gonna have to have the confidence, not just building confidence, but also have the confidence to know that this is the hair you were born with and it's beautiful, okay? So you guys, those are the five signs the five signs that you are ready to be locked, okay? Have confidence to say, this is me, okay? And I don't care if you don't like it, this is me, all me. All right, you guys, thanks for coming by the Lock Tip Tuesday, and it is your girl. Like and subscribe. Let me know if there was some, um, yeah, do you think that there's another thing that someone should consider before getting locked? I do have another video that talks about things, do's and don'ts, as far as sizes and everything, but I really wanted to focus here on these signs that you're ready to be mental, because it's not just a preparation, like what size do I get? Also, preparing yourself to be locked is also a mental preparation. 
to embrace and love yourself and to be natural we have yes us have been told what beauty is and embracing our own beauty that comes right out of our own head is definitely not something that most of us have been taught so that is a big deal i think you want to emotionally be ready for your preparation to wear locks and to have them and to be you okay i'll see you next week for a lock to tuesday <laughs>